Hey guys, it's Noke Boy here and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how you can create a line chart and uh, this is a line chart and uh, you can see uh, I was creating something simple uh, uh, comparing the marks of uh, a student so this uh, on the y-axis you have uh, some marks and on the x-axis you have uh, the number of terms so uh, this was an increase uh, in the line chart so I'll teach you how you can do this in JavaFX and FXML so right away let us create a new project and then it's a JavaFX application. Select JavaFX FXML application. Then next, and then now type in the name of the application. I'll call it Line Graph. And then uh, finish. So once you do that, you are always given an FXML file, a, a controller class file, and the main class file. And as usual, it's the main class file because it contains the main method. And then now the FXML file gets the values from the. Uh, sends the values to the controller class file. Now, this FXML file is where you'll be designing your interface. And wherever, and if you have to design, if you have to rename the controller class file, always come and make changes here to this uh, to this FXML file. So right away, let us just now open uh, our FXML file in the scene builder. So I'll be opening it in the scene builder. So uh, it's open now in the scene builder. So we don't need this button and label. So I'll delete it. And then once you do that now, select the anchor pen and resize it. So, and then I'll type uh, a V-box here. And then drag and drop uh, the V-box into the anchor pen. Then right click it and fit it to the parent. And you can save it. Uh, after doing that now, uh, the next thing now, uh, we will need uh, is a text uh, that will act like a main topic so I'll just type in text and then drag and drop this text inside the v-box and you can change the values of the text in properties here and let us type in the name of the text and I'll say uh, line graph line graphs so that that's it and then I'll change the font size So I'll change the font size and then let me just increase uh, and then choose iron black and then I'll also increase the font size to something like uh, 49 and then now you can select this V-Box again and align everything uh, to the drop center. Uh, after doing that now we will need uh, a pen. So for me the best practice when creating charts, I know there are you can just uh, put a line chart just directly into the XML file. But I found it uh, very hard to when there are changes in the data types. So it, it is taking data from uh, a database and this data is changing uh, very dynamically. So it creates a duplicate series uh, and it, uh, it pops out some error. And so the best practice when creating charts is that by adding the pen so that it makes it easier. If there are changes in the line graph, you can just create a whole new line graph just direct with the controller class file and add it as a child to the pen. So let us add this pen, pen and I'll show you how you can do this using this uh, idea of uh, using pens because it allows you to create even to add uh, different types of uh, bar charts or, or, or charts in the same place you can use a bar chart a line graph uh, a stacked area chart or uh, just in the same location you can just clean the pen view uh, the pen and then add a different type or set of chart so what you do now select this pen come to the vgrow select uh, layout then vgrow uh, and create it to be always so that whenever the vbox grows the pen grows so now after doing that now you can come uh, to the code here so you want to give this pen an ID and I'll give this pen an ID pen view and after doing that I'll save the fxml file and I'll resize it and then cut the fxml file in the netbins and then make the controller 
so that you can update the controller class file with its changes. So here we go. And then now if we the we don't need this label and uh, we don't need this method at the moment. So we just delete them. So so we have now uh, a pen view. And then now we want a method that will create the line chart. And then after creating the line chart, we'll add uh, data to the line chart and now add that chart into the pen. So to do that, it's very simple. Select now, first of all, we'll create a method. So this method, I will call it uh, load data because it will be creating a line chart and loading some data into it and then adding this data into the pen view. So load data. The first thing I'll check if there's anything inside this pen view and clear it. So I'll write get children and then I'll clear it. So after doing that now, uh, that's it. So uh, now the next thing now uh, is is to create uh, some the, the x axis and the y axis. So to do some values to create uh, this axis, uh, it will be simple. I'm declaring this uh, axis in, ja in in a line graph. Uh, what you do, it's very simple. Just create a, a number axis. So we want to, to compare uh, the performance of a student uh, between uh, the, uh, the max and the term, uh, the different terms. So I'll create a new number axis and I'll call it x axis. So this one will be the values in the x axis. So new. So new number axis. Uh, into brackets now here i'll type in now the range so we want it to compare one uh, to uh, five and then uh, it will be a difference of one between those uh, terms so i'll import uh, the java effects number axis so this one the first one here uh, it gives the range uh, of the x-axis so if you want it to go from zero to five that's it, uh, and then uh, the difference or the range between each 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 bar will be one. So that's it. It will be have like six columns now, and then now well, after doing that, now we'll create. We can give this x-axis uh, some uh, topic or some label. So x-axis, then we set label, and I'll put some string values in here, and uh, this is what you'll say uh, like uh, uh, term or terms or let's just say term and then after doing that now we'll create another number axis that will be only that will be displaying uh, the max so number axis y axis so this one will be displaying the y axis so this number axis uh, axis actually it's a new number axis or so new number axis so into brackets again, I will be displaying some values. So this one, it will be holding values from zero uh, to, let me say 500, so that it should be, it should be that very big. And then uh, a range of uh, 100 in each. And then that's it. And uh, after doing that, let us give our Y axis some label. So label. And then I'll give, so I'll put in some three values here and the label, and then I'll say uh, like uh, max. So that's it. After doing that now, it is high time now to create our line graph. So I'll just say line graph. So line graph, and uh, I'll put in the, the form of data types it will be expecting. So it will be ex expecting number, uh, comma number. Uh, so that's the format it will be taking the values and I'll call this uh, values uh, max I'll call this uh, line graph max chart and then this one this is a new line graph so new line graph and inside here I'll now set it uh, the, I'll set now the data model it will be taking so it will be taking first the x axis uh, then the y axis, the type of data model, uh, the 
uh, it will be assigning for the i axis. So we'll do some inputs here. So we have an error here, but uh, it is because of this. We are creating, we, are, we want to display a line graph, but uh, the type of chart is called a line chart, so uh, that should be what is, so a line chart, and then I'll place here a line chart, and then let us import the line chart now, line chart, now, now we are good to go, now that we have displayed this, now we are good to go. The next thing now will be, uh, we can decide to give this uh, line chart uh, some title, so let us say max chart dot title then uh, here we'll put some string values so I'll say uh, student performance then after doing that now uh, we're good to go now we will now create some series uh, some data uh, so for line chart you add values using series the xy chart series so i'll introduce you to this right our xy chart series uh, should be in uppercase and then series if equals to new x y chart series So that's it. I will do some imports. Now, uh, so the next thing now, uh, we can decide to give this series uh, a title. So set title. So into brackets, and I'll give that this series some title, and I'll say performance. And then after doing that now you can decide okay set is setting the level oh and then just double check it set name that's the the, the method so you set the name to the series uh, performance and uh, now after doing that uh, we'll add some values into this series so uh, series dot uh, get data uh, data what towards a values here and then you add into brackets you are adding some a new x y chart uh, data and then you add the greater and equal sign then into brackets now type in the data you want to place and uh, for me for so so for the first one I can just say zero zero so that you can uh, start uh, the zero zero the zero zero the section after doing that now you can just copy this and paste it and we'll be changing the values so you can add a series of a uh, list of series but we want to show between four so for the first time you can say uh, you got about uh, 100 uh, for the second term got like 400 uh, 400 and for the third term it dropped down to 200 uh, I mean that's it after doing that now we will just add up uh, to that we will not now uh, this uh, series into, into the now we we'll add this series into the into the uh, the max chart. So that's how you then you get. Uh, so uh, you get the data, and then uh, uh, set and you'll be adding the series. Really set that add series so that's it so that's how you add the series into the, into the max uh, into the uh, line chart and then after doing that uh, now the next thing now will be 
will be now displaying or adding uh, you can decide even first uh, to to give the dimensions to this chart so just say max chart uh, dot now we we'll set the feet height so so set so max so we are giving it some set fit width or that, let us say set the maximum width uh, to be 300 width so I think it's this way so that's it it was just some typing error and then uh, max chart then uh, we'll set even the maximum height so we'll let us select the maximum height and give it to be something like uh, uh, 400 and then that's it now you will add this chart like uh, as a child to the pen view uh, and you can remember the pen you created so pen view then you add uh, you get the children then add the node so we'll be adding uh, the max chart inside it so once you've done that now we are good to, to go but before you do that we want this method to run at the beginning of the application so that you can just load the data just directly so let us build this uh, application So once the build is successful, now you can come to the main class file, uh, right click it and run the file. And here we go. And you can see we have a very beautiful line graph, uh, it's a line chart actually. And uh, this is how you can create a line graph in, in JavaFX. Uh, you, you have the x-axis that runs from 0 to 500 as we have just uh, set here 0 to 500 and you also have the y axis, the x-axis where you have 0 to 5 and uh, a range of 1 in each and this one uh, you can remember it had a range of 100 in each and then after doing that we gave this uh, the y-axis uh, some label and we also gave the x-axis some label term and then we came here and created a new line chart and then we gave this chart uh, a, a title we give it the title student performance and then again we created a new series so this is the series uh, you can see uh, it had some value and then there was a sharp decrease uh, in the marks and then again uh, we added this value uh, here uh, so we gave this series uh, some we set it uh, a name and you can see this the name that we, we added and then we add we added the series zero zero at the first dimensions and then 100 so you can see the intersections uh, are just accurate and then after doing that adding the values uh, as we had said as we had added we gave and now we added this series into the mark into the line chart and then now we gave this line chart a, a, a set it to a maximum width and we gave it the maximum height it could take and then uh, we add this. We added the line chart into the pen view as a child. So that was it about line graphs. Hope you learned something about uh, these uh, line charts in uh, JavaFX and FXML. So I hope you learned something. And uh, that's it about line charts. So have a nice time. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And. Uh,